It is problem. Determine the value of positive x that will make 4 minus x, 5x, 48 plus x a geometric sequence. So, in order for us to solve for the value of x, we're going to make use here the definition or the concept of common ratio in geometric. We all know that whatever consecutive terms in geometric series or geometric sequence class, the common ratio of that is um, the same. So to illustrate that, we all know that a sub 1, assuming that a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, dot dot dot, is a geometric sequence. Okay, so with this, using the definition of geometric sequence, we all know that when we divide a sub 2 by a sub 1, we will get class the common ratio. Same goes also with a sub 3, a sub um, divided by a sub 2, where you will still have common ratio. Same also with a sub 4 divided by a sub 3, you will have the common ratio. So for us to get class, the value of x in the given problem, we're going to use this concept, okay, for us to get the value of x. Now the given is for minus x, then 5x, and 48 plus x. For in here, we will solve for x that will make this one as geometry. Now using this concept class, we all know that uh, when we divide a sub 2 by a sub 1, we'll get common ratio. And then we'll, uh, same goes also with a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, we'll still have the same value of common ratio. So in order for us to get the value of x here, we will use this concept and then equate both um, equations. So this will be, let's divide this, assuming this one is a sub 1, a sub 2, then a sub 3. So this will be 5x divided by 4 minus x is just equal to a sub 3 divided by a sub 2. 48 plus x all over 5x. Because class, the result of this is just equal to the result of this because the concept again is we're getting common ratio. Now, with this, we have 5x divided by 4x equals 48 plus x divided by 5x. We'll now cross multiply. So this will be 5x times 5x is 25x squared equals uh, we multiply 4 minus x, uh, 4 minus x to 48 plus x. And that is, let's say, 44 minus x times 48 plus x. By um, FOIL method, we all know 48 times 4 is 100. 92 and then 48 times negative x is 48x then x then negative 48x then x times 4 is 4x so that would be negative combined negative 44x and then x times x is negative x squared so we have class resulting equation that is quadratic so we will equate that to zero for us to factor that 25x squared transpose everything here to the other side plus 44x minus 192 equals zero this will be 26x squared okay then plus 44x minus 192 equals 0.
So notice class that we can simplify this by dividing um, both, I mean all terms with 2. So this will be um, 13x squared plus 22x minus 96 equals 0. Okay. Divide, again, simplifying this by 2. So we get 13x squared plus 22x minus 96 equals 0. So we factor this now to get the two factors equals 0. So by trial and error, um, the easier way to factor this is by trial and error. And the factors, what must be the factors of 96 and also 13x squared that when you combine by FOIL method, the answer is positive 22. Well, let's try 13x and then x here and then let's have minus 2 and then since this is minus, this will be 48. Okay, let's see. 48 times x is 48, then this is positive and not negative 26. Uh, 48x minus 26x is 22x okay so we have 22x so this one is correct so now that we have two factors um zero product property let's separate this so we have 13x equals negative 48 divide both side by 13 so x is equal to negative 48 over 13 so with this the other one it is x equals positive 2 so we need to say class since we're looking for only positive uh, value of x the answer is 2 so let's check if this one is really correct by substituting um, the value of x here in the given so if x is um, the value of 2, 4 minus 2, it is 2. And then 5 times 2, it's 10. Then 48 plus 2, it is 50. Okay. Our, and obviously, 2, 10, and 50 are geometric means because they have common ratio. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 50 divided by 10 is 5. So therefore, class, our answer is correct. X equals 2.